So Nate was born in a city called Baotou in Inner Mongolia, China. We adopted Nate in August of 2014. He was about two and a half at the time. He was born with a congenital heart defect. The oxygenation was kind of an issue for him, so he, you know, outward symptoms were blue lips. He'd run around the house, be short of breath after not, not really much exercise. Dr. Carl saw him within a couple weeks after arriving in the U.S. It was very complicated. Uh, his aorta was far removed from the left ventricle, which it's supposed to be attached to. On top of that, he had severe narrowing underneath his pulmonary valve called pulmonary stenosis, and we need to determine what's the best and safest way to move forward with him. I think they were at a dilemma point. They weren't sure exactly what to do. We got the data from China and some of the data we collected here, and it was still somewhat complicated as heart disease into determining how to move forward um, based on the interventions he already had. Dr. Garavedian brought it to us as the best decision to have a 3D model made. We were kind of like, wow, really? We can do that? Or it can be done? Our surgeons are very smart people. But at times it's not the best idea to make a decision on the fly with a child in the operating room with their chest open. It's always nice to be able to take time to sit down in your office, to have that heart in your hand, and to actually cut and move these things over. I thought it was a great idea. Uh, my first question though was, will insurance cover this? <laughs> and he kind of laughed. These type of models that we do are not paid for by insurance companies. He said, but I don't want you to worry. I've already, you know, spoken with the foundation, which I think is in, in part funded by Children's Miracle Network. And they, they're willing to cover the cost of this so we can make it happen. This is a model that we provided to Sacred Heart Children's Hospital in Spokane, Washington. A model like this is typically created by the uh, clinician sending us the imagery, be it CT, MRI, or ultrasound imagery. It's sent to our teams and they take that imagery and they run it through our backbone software known as the Mimics Care Suite. And the Mimics Care Suite then will assemble all of that data into a 3D model of the patient's anatomy. On the medical side, it's allowing for complex surgeries to be approached that never would have been approached before. Models are being produced in order to separate conjoined twins for transplants, such as hand transplants or face transplants. In the past, you could say, oh, we made that part on this car. But in the 3D printing in the medical space, I'm able to tell them, you know what? We saved this kid's life today. It's really wonderful to be a part of that. We brought him in, they had him checked out and, you know, made, made sure everything was ready to go. And we performed something called a Rostelli operation, which was a safer operation than the other operation based on the information that we gathered by having the heart in our hand and actually practicing outside of the body. I think that's probably good. I don't think you're gonna drink that much water. Here you go. Can we hold your car with you so you don't spill it? Next room. We he didn't want to uh, hold the water, he didn't want to spill it. <laughs> he was trying to hold his car while he was drinking his water. We had a little bit of an accident. He's now five years old after he's had his surgery and um, doing well. He's always talking. <laughs> Nate has an excellent prognosis at this point. Uh, his heart has been completely repaired. And the way that his heart is at this point can really last him for the rest of his life. Feel your heart beating? <laughs> Having a partnership with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals has been very helpful for us. They are able to provide money so we can do printed heart models. They're able to provide equipment for us to help take care of children with special heart problems. The staff here and the Children's Miracle Network team and just people who have donated funds to make that a reality. And for our family, what a gift that is to us um, as a family and just to Nate too.